so today I just want to, so this is part two um, of a sketchbook tour. I will link the previous one. Um, so yeah, so we have a moleskin and a watercolor sketchbook. Um, and we will start with a moleskin first. So it says ink. It's mostly ink. After a while I just uh, went into gouache. So let's see. This is where we last left off. Um, let's see if that's centered. Yeah, so these were just uh, studies for a full illustration. Some B stars. Um, I turned this one into a full illustration. Or I guess colored drawing. The main purpose of the sketchbook was I, I was really struggling with line art, so I was like, make it mostly ink, and then you're kind of forced to do all the line art. And it's fun. I, uh, I do like the look of it. And I definitely feel like I've I've improved. Still got a ways to go, but you know. <laughs> uh, this was like once quarantine started, there was a big gap in motivation. Sobbing uncontrollably. I was pretty sick for like the first couple of weeks of quarantine. A Copic illustration based on a very very quick hike or it was more of a stroll an a-frame I do like the idea of living in, a, in an a-frame in the woods I tried to do mushroom which is drawing um, well someone made a prompt of different mushrooms to do for all of May and the one for that day was the Kremni but I, th I thought I was going to do it. It's here I did the... Agar agaric? A fly agaric? I, I don't know. A morel. And that was it. <laughs> that was as much mushrooms as I got to. I turned this one into a uh, portrait drawing as well. This is where we started getting back into gouache. I'm actually surprised how well moleskin can handle gouache. I did some mushrooms, not with a prom, but I was just like, let's just do some pink oysters because they're they're pretty. At this point I was like, just get the sketchbook done. Try to fill more pages. And then just taped these old drawings in. I'm pretty sure yeah, there's a video of me doing this one. And I think that's from 2018, December, like almost 2019. It was a while ago. Some sunset stuff, some leaves from a photo I took while I was on a walk. And then like this little Japanese shop from a royalty-free photo. That is it for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, started with humans, ended with animals. I think that is going to be the theme of the rest of my art as a whole. So yeah, this one... Gosh, when did I start this one? Well, not good. No, that's, that's ancient. Technically, 4-7-2019. So yeah, a little bit over a year. So there is that. And for the next one, I have this watercolor journal. It's a global art materials. So this one's this one's ancient. Look at that, 2018. Completed it yesterday. And yeah, so I guess we already went through this one. Yeah, like I said, a handbook. And I guess we left off here with the chickens. And then I did this. Let's see, is that centered? Yeah. Um, also based on a photo I took. 
another vape <laughs> another landscape based on a photo I took. This one I just abandoned it because I don't know. I got I guess I got tired of landscapes at this point. Didn't feel like revisiting it. Maybe someday. This was uh my friend and me because we went on we went backpacking last year. Turn these little guys into stickers. Pokemans. Yeah, this is another landscape I abandoned based on the coast, well, a coast trip. But yeah, I don't know. I was so rusty at gouache, I just gave up. Decided to do something smaller and simple. Really love peonies. I think I did this one like yesterday. I was I was getting pretty close to <laughs> wanting to finish this one as well. Just move on. Made this character because I wanted I like having pink characters. Okay, so apparently my film cut out. Anyway, um, all right, no, don't do that. Okay. So, yeah, one of my succulents, a deer. I have these gold paints. I definitely need to use them more, but I thought it would be cool to have a deer with gold antlers. And I love the color pink. And I like sharp teeth, so, you know? <laughs> I also really like the orange and blue, so... Trying to make a character around it. Probably will get a redesign, though. Uh, a fruit bat from reference. Zuri. An adopt I have. This is based on a photo I took. There were salamanders in the water, so I decided to throw a salamander in there too. They were pretty brown. They weren't uh, this orange, but I want to add a little bit more color to this page. And this is a... wait, is that it? Yeah, okay. This is a marker drawing on tan paper. And this is my partner's persona, a golden jackal. It was us because our anniversary was not too long ago. And that's the end. And then these are like, gosh, I want to say from 2018, I think. Yeah, I just decided to stick them in here because they don't really have anywhere else to go. And since there's a rabbit, I was like, you know what? I'm going to draw a rabbit. I don't draw rabbits enough. And so that's it. I'm glad <laughs> I finally got... I finally finished this. Just like, I don't know, new chapter in life, finally. And then for my next one, so as you can see, yeah, same kind, slightly different size. So I actually got this for back in 2017 for a travel thing, for a travel journal. And I'm just going to go through it so I don't have to go through it in the future. Yeah, so this is ancient. Um, Went to Slovenia. This is our view from the place that we're staying. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Silly conversation between my siblings and sibling-in-law about whether or not <laughs> the French press or the Italian press is better. This was Vintgar Gorge. Probably didn't say that wrong. And then this was the little castle, island castle in Bled. I tried to do this as a plein air, and it was just so hot in my- because I tried to use one of those, like, little water brushes, and just, like, the sun was, like, evaporating everything, so <laughs> this one was a struggle. And I- I was able to do this one in life. There's, like, this tiny little boat on the Adriatic Sea, and I did this one when I got home of, uh, Plitvis, I think? This was a while ago. Yeah, we quickly stopped by Split. This was an awesome trip. Like, this is the most traveling I think I've done. <laughs> and then just, like, our... Um, so my camera cut off again. Anyway, this is Split in Croatia. Uh, and then just, like, some food we had. There was uh, some sorbet that we got in Split. And this was, I'm going to say it wrong. I was going to try to do Dubrovnik. I might finish it, or might revisit it. But clearly I just, I just quit. And... Yeah, got all these nice fresh pages to fill out. So, I guess this is the year that I just finally 
get all these sketchbooks done. Oh uh, yeah, we got these dudes. And then, yeah, as you can tell, I really like these. Um, I did this one in 2017. And they are great, in my opinion, for watercolor. Highly recommended. Nice that they have square ones, as well as portrait ones. And love moleskin. Good for gouache, good for ink. Not great for watercolor. But, yeah, definitely cutting down <laughs> the amount of sketchbooks I'm doing at once, because that takes forever. Well, anyway, thank you so much for sticking around. Just a little, little self-promo here. I do put a lot of um, these photos of these sketchbooks on Patreon way before finishing it all and then finally uploading it to YouTube. So just letting y'all know. Um, occasionally they get dropped on my Instagram. Not as often, uh, but they are there as well if you want to check them out. Oh, and Twitter. I keep forgetting about <laughs> So, yeah, th thank you so much once again, and hope you have a lovely rest of your day.